You would not believe it, but one of the most frequent questions I receive about the IoT T-Stick is how to reset the Wi-Fi connection to connect to a different access point. It's simple and in this short video I am going to show you how. Hello everyone and welcome to the IoT T channel. I am Hans Tanner. A special welcome to all new subscribers and welcome back to everyone else. I'm happy you made it here and wish you and your family a happy new year. Before I get started, here's a quick channel announcement. We just closed on a new house a few days ago, so over the next several weeks I'm busy with moving and selling the current house. With that move, we are also downsizing from four floors to a single floor, which means I must get rid of a lot of stuff that has accumulated over the years. This takes some efforts and to make it happen, I will have to reduce my video schedule and publish fewer videos over the course of the next several weeks. Now, if you are a subscriber and have clicked the bell icon, you will always get a notification when a new video comes out. Otherwise, this might be a perfect opportunity to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any new video during that time. Ok, now to the topic of resetting the IoT T-Stick. The supported connection modes of the IoT T-Stick are documented on the Wi-Fi configuration webpage on myiott.org. This diagram is at the bottom of the page and shows the logic flow of the connecting process. If the stick is in AP mode, meaning it is providing an access point by its own, it is straightforward. The stick starts up, initializes the access point and it is ready. You now can use any Wi-Fi device to connect to it and load the web pages. If you want to make changes, you can load the stick configuration page, change the IP address of the access point or switch it back to station mode. Access point mode is convenient if there is no Wi-Fi to connect to. The main limitation though is that only a limited number of devices can connect to the stick at the same time. The more common mode and also the default mode for the stick as shipped is station mode. In this mode the stick tries to connect to an available Wi-Fi access point using the settings that are stored on the stick. If there are no settings or the stick cannot connect to the access point, it automatically brings up the captive portal, which means you can use the smartphone to connect to the stick and enter the Wi-Fi settings or switch it to access point mode. So, if you take your IoT stick to a location where the configured Wi-Fi is not available, for example at the friend's place or when you take it to your model railroad club, it will automatically start the captive portal and you can set the Wi-Fi credentials for the access point at the new location. Or you switch to access point mode or simply let the captive portal sit for two minutes and it will go into AP mode for just this session. So far so good, so what is the problem? Well, the questions I get quite frequently is how to switch the stick to a different access point if the AP that is stored in the stick is still available. For example, you install a second router or access point that you want to use only for the model railroad and keep it separate from your home Wi-Fi network. Since the stick does not know about the new access point and it has valid credentials stored in the memory, it will always automatically connect to the configured access point. So the question is how to make it point to the other access point going forward. Well, one way we have already covered. If you can turn off the current access point, the stick will bring up the captive portal as it cannot connect using the stored credentials and you can select and enter the information for your second access point. If you don't want to turn off the current access point, it is also possible to reset the stored Wi-Fi credentials in the stick 
And here is how you can do it. Start the stick and let it connect to the stored access point. Make sure the Wi-Fi page is visible on the stick displaying the current IP address and AP name. Click the power button four times with a half of a second between each click, like this. The stick will then erase the stored information, reboot and bring up the captive portal. Connect to the captive portal with your smartphone and select the new access point you want to connect to. The key to success is the number of clicks and the time between the clicks. If you click too fast, the stick will interpret it as long press and simply power down. If your click rate is too slow, it will be interpreted as individual clicks and nothing happens. Use the click frequency shown in this video and your reset will be successful. And that's it for this video. I hope this information was useful or at least interesting for you and you are now able to reconfigure the IoT T-Stick Wi-Fi settings if needed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.